Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 6. Today we got the official news of when Supergirl is roughly going to be coming out. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So the CW just officially announced its spring release date. So what shows are going to be coming back around May time, essentially, is what that means. And so the CW is shaking up its schedule. I'm reading off of a TV line article. You guys can go check out in the description below. So it says the CW is shaking up its schedule this spring to make way for new seasons of several returning favorites. The shuffle begins with DC's Legends of Tomorrow, which returns for its sixth season on Sunday. Yes, Sunday, so that means Legends is switching for Supergirl. However, there is still a chance that Supergirl will take place over Batwoman when Batwoman finishes, but we'll have to wait and see. But that is going to be followed after by an episode of Batwoman that airs at 9pm. So the article explains everything to do with when these shows are coming back and what shows are coming back and so basically there's a bunch of changes, there is like some series premieres, there's this new Kung Fu show that the CW is running, then you obviously have the biggest thing here which is Legends of Tomorrow coming back, it's going to be coming back in spring, not the summer, so it's coming back before Supergirl. And so now, let's get to Supergirl. So, what is happening with Supergirl is not part of this announcement, so you might be wondering, why is it we're talking about Supergirl? Well, this only means one thing, and it means a big thing, because it's not part of this announcement for the spring shows. This 100% means it's going to be a summer show. So, I don't know what the CW specifically detail as summer shows, but normally the summer shows air sometime between June, July, and August. And it's very rare that a show on the CW starts in like August or July because it's really late and it's going to collide with the full season. So with this announcement to do with Legends coming back and all of these other shows taking up the spring slots, Supergirl is definitely going to come back and I think Supergirl is going to be coming back in June. So set your dates down for June because it seems like Supergirl is coming back at least a month after Legends of Tomorrow. But yeah, exciting news. Legends is coming back May 2nd, so that is another DC TV show which is coming back, and then Batwoman's moving. And so in regards to Sunday, with both of those shows taking up the slot, obviously we don't know if Batwoman's still going to be on by the time of Supergirl coming out. I'm presuming Legends is probably going to switch to the later time slot and the Supergirl will go to its normal time slot, or does this mean that Supergirl is going to be moving to a Monday because taking up the Sunday time slot and there is a high chance that DC's Legends of Tomorrow stays there and it's pretty unlikely that Supergirl goes into the 9pm time slot so unless they want to switch them around and pair them up this season, Supergirl may be possibly moving back to a Monday time slot. So obviously that's just me theorizing but take that into account. So with Supergirl coming out in the summer season what can we expect? Well if it airs episode 1 in June and let's presume it's going to stay on the Sunday, that's going to be June 6th, it's the first Sunday in June. So if it does that, and it runs for 20 episodes because they are shooting 20 episodes this season, that means that without a break, Supergirl is going to run all the way up till mid-October. It's going to finish on October 17th, if that's what they are planning. So that is a bit risky, because that is right when the full shows start, and they don't normally play a show right over, right up to the end, so it's quite unprecedented as far as I know, so I'm not sure if this is gonna actually happen. However, it does line up, considering that literally is the perfect amount until like the full season starts officially, where the CW normally airs its show's premieres around mid-October time, so it does line up. However, I'm gonna introduce a few other options right here, so what happens if they're not going to make Supergirl a summer show? What happens if they know, yes, the show is going to be much better and it's going to get a much bigger response if we air Supergirl in its normal time slot, but we wait over the summer and then we do a full premiere. So what happens if it's going to join The Flash Season 8 and all of these other shows like Batwoman Season 3? What happens if they are waiting to do that? So now, that would be interesting because that means even though they finish filming in August, Supergirl will only premiere in October. And then with October, it would follow the CW's normal schedule and therefore you would get the mid-season, you would get the breaks, and Supergirl will go on much longer than they have filmed. 
So that means they have 20 episodes, they start in October, and then they have the break around December, they go away for a few months due to the Christmas break, and then in January they return with the back half of the season, and then they finish the show around April, May time like they normally do. So what happens if they drag it out till May 2021? Now that would be an interesting twist, and we have theorized about this before, because we still haven't had official confirmation as to the exact date it's coming out, but from the spring premiere date announcement, we can either theorize that number one is going to be a summer show, so it's going to come out in June sometime, or it's going to be delayed until the fall. Now that is interesting, I really want to know you guys' thoughts in the comments down below, so let me know. But I think the main factor as to why this may be true is because generally summer shows for the CW don't actually do that much in terms of numbers. And that's why the CW normally waits to the fall so they can have like a whole year round thing where they start it in the fall rather than starting in the summer where people are on holiday and maybe they miss out on a few episodes and therefore that affects ratings and that affects people viewing it after on the app and all the different ways people access it. So I think there is evidence to suggest that the CW may in fact wait until October and give it a full normal run with the start of the next seasons along with like the Flash season 8. I'm going to give you guys one more option. So the other option is this. If they start in summer, as I'm predicting, they premiere in June sometime, and then they run half of their episodes throughout the summer, and then they go on like a month break or something, and then back in October when The Flash and everything premieres on the CW as their normal schedule, Supergirl comes back for the back half of the season, and obviously it's unprecedented, but it could totally happen because it running alongside the other shows is probably going to do it better than just running in the summer. Because like I mentioned, the fall does them better ratings, and that's why they always start in the fall. So then they come back with the second half of the season, and this is obviously later on, when they have like 10 more episodes to go because they have 20 episodes overall, then they have 10 to start, and then they go on that break. So whatever way this goes, I'm super excited and I'm glad that we're getting some sort of confirmation about some of our shows. So remember guys, Legends of Tomorrow is coming out May 2nd and it's going to be changing days to a Sunday, which could potentially bump Supergirl onto its normal Monday day, but we will have to wait and see about that. There's been no confirmation. However, it does seem to confirm that with all of these changes and with Legends premiering, with all of these other shows premiering in spring, that it's more than likely that Supergirl is going to be coming in the summer so this news kind of came out of nowhere because i prepared another supergirl video which may come out later tonight so be on the lookout for all of that and also remember superman and lois just premiered so please be sure to go ahead and check out my last video i'll leave it in the link in the description below along with the tv line article that we talked about in this video so if you want to see more superman and lois stuff please be sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications along with supergirl stuff but i presume most of you guys who are watching are subscribed because you're Supergirl fans and we cover it daily here on the DC TV show. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.